Today you're gonna learn how to play Hooch by the Melvins and we're starting right now. What's up everyone, Steve here again from Does It Doom, the YouTube channel where we feature weekly guitar lessons and gear demos in the stoner, doom, sludge, and drone metal genres. So if that is your thing, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell for more weekly doom content. For today's lesson, I'm playing a first act CE Lola 120, single pickup, playing on the bridge, volume and tone are gonna be set at max. We're running into a Proco Rat 2, reissue the OP07 model into an Orange Crush 35RT on the clean channel. This thing is in drop D tuning. I've got a set of 10 to 48 strings on this thing, I believe, and so that's what we're gonna use for this lesson. I've had a ton of requests to cover some Melvin's tunes here on this channel, so if you've got another song you'd like to see broken down, drop it below in the comments. As always, you can pick up the complete transcription for this lesson and every other lesson you've ever seen on the channel for both guitar and bass over on Patreon at patreon.com slash doesitdoom. Support the channel there and gain access to a ton of additional bonus content, community access, and resources. So you can get your shit tuned up to drop D. We're gonna zoom in, do a quick demo, then we're gonna come back and break it down riff by riff. Check it. <laughs> So Hooch is in the key of D minor and again played in drop D tuning. I'm gonna break the first riff down into two parts. The first part goes like this. So here we're using the D harmonic minor scale and we've got the root a major seventh interval, and then a minor third interval, as well as the open sixth string root. You'll notice this sixth string D note pedal tone being picked throughout. And then the second part of that riff goes like this. And so I'm using these root fourth dyads, meaning I'm playing the root note and then the note directly below it on the fretboard. back to the first part of the riff. So again. And then this time through the dyad portion is slightly different.
Notice the first part of the dyad riff, I'm strumming up and down, and then the second part, I'm just using downstrokes. <laughs> So all together from the top. into this riff. If you're digging this lesson, remember to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. So a cool riff here using essentially the blues scale. We've got the root note, a minor third, a perfect fourth, and a flat fifth. Notice the palm mutes. You got this kind of pick scraping part towards the end of that riff. Remember to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future lessons. I want to send out a huge thank you to everyone who supports this channel over on Patreon with a very special thank you to all of our Riff Lord tier producers. For more content like this, you can click the YouTube video directly below me. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, you can do so by clicking the round subscribe icon. So until next time, always remember, Tony Iommi is yours.